Good morning, class. This is G. Suraj Swami again from Setam Engineering College in the Department of Mechanical Engineering. Now we are going to discuss about gearboxes in automobile engineering as we left uh, earlier that some of the gearboxes we have left. So that will be continued in this topic. Now the next gearbox is constant mesh gearbox. In this constant mesh gearbox, all the gears are always in mesh. The gears on counter shaft are fixed to it. Gears on the main shaft are free to rotate. We can see here in the counter shaft the, the gears will be fixed. In the main shaft they are free to rotate. Okay. Uh, here we are using some dog clutches. I will show you uh, how the figure it will be. The dog clutches can slide on the main shaft and rotate with it. <coughs> Next, sorry. The dog clutch engages with the gear on the main shaft to obtain desired space. Means if, if it is moving on the left side, it will uh, it is having some spin. If it is moving on the right side, it is having some spin. Like it's uh, like the some desired space will be obtained while it is moving uh, from one place to another place. Yes, the, there is one. Uh, there some of uh, there are more advantages. Uh, sliding mesh gearbox. Uh, the one thing is that since the gears are engaged by the clock, dog clutch, if any damage occurs, means at that time while engaging the gas, means uh, if you are engaging the gas, and if any damage occurs, means the dog unit member have to be removed, and it, uh, if uh, the thing uh, the dog clutch will be removed, and the entire gear will will not will be in in the same uh, safe position. Okay. Mm, this is the most advantages of the constant ge mesh gearbox as we can see here clearly the constant mesh gearbox the diagram this is the main shaft and this this is the counter shaft uh, the uh, we can see clearly these two gears are in contact with each other these two gears are in contact with each other and these two and these two everyone is in contact with each other the main uh, then how the gears will be engaged or disengaged by moving this, uh, there are two dog clutches. This one is uh, one dog clutch, and this one is another dog clutch. If this dog clutch move these sides, one uh, one gear will be uh, there, and this will and this uh, dog clutch will move in this direction. Means another gear will be produced. Like this, the uh, this move these sides, one gear will be produced, and if it move these sides, another gear will be produced. Like this, the other gear will be produced. Okay. Uh, uh, how uh, we can say that uh, there are some gears, no? Uh, if this uh, second dog clutch will move to the right side, then the reverse gear will be produced. If that this uh, second dog clutch will move uh, right left side, then the lower gear will be produced. If the first gear uh, means uh, the first dog clutch will move uh, right side, then the second gear uh, second uh, gear will be produced. And uh, uh, and this dog clutch will move right side means the neutral uh, gear will be produced. Okay, <coughs> reverse. And we can say here, we can see clearly here. Okay, lower gear, second gear, and reverse gears. Next, uh, before going to synchromesh, some of the important parts we have to discuss here. The one is the gear arrangement. Multiple gears are arranged on the parallel shaft in the constant mesh gearbox, as we can see here. Gears are always in mesh with each other, as I said earlier. Allowing for quick and efficient gear change. We, uh, for this, we can change the gears very efficiently. Okay, and very quickly also. Next, the important thing is the dog clutch operation. Dog clutch facilitates the engagement and disengagement of gears. The next import another important thing is the toothed collar is there now on the gears that can be slided. This can be slide to engage a specific gear, enable smoother transmission between the gears. This can be slide over here. Okay. Uh, next, another important thing is synchronization for smooth shafts. What do you mean by the synchronization means the synchronization mechanism in constant mesh gear was synchronizes gear speed before the increase engagement before they, they are engaged uh, it will synchronize the gear speeds uh, also another important thing is synchro mesh contributes to smoother and quicker gear shapes uh, as we discussed earlier a sliding mesh for the gear angle the sliding mesh for gear engagement is also a uh, important uh, concept gears are mounted on the shaft capable of lateral sliding in the constant mesh gearbox these sliding movements allows the engagement of uh, um, engagement of different gears with output shafts uh, how many output shafts we needed uh, according to that the different gears will be engaged clutches on the gear level operation these clutches is crucial for 
disconnecting the engine from gearbox during the change uh, uh, this clutch this clutch is uh, it will be used for disengaging the engine from the uh, during the gear change it will be used okay uh, as i discussed in the last uh, gearbox these drivers use gear level after mounting on the center point of a column these selected gears based on the driven conditions uh, we can uh, depending upon the conditions we can use our gears and next thing is synchro mesh gearbox uh, this is a very important gearbox i, I will sh show you the diagram also there are sliding synchronization units are provided to equalize the speed gears and dog before meshing okay this is used for this purpose this device works like a friction clutch please remember this thing equal speeds ensure for smooth meshing normally used in the first and reverse gears this will be used for reverse and first and reverse gears working uh, now we have to go for working working of the synchro mesh gearbox as we can see clearly here output shaft is always rotating because it is positively connected to the wheels this uh, this output shaft will re always re rotates uh, revolves next lay shaft is connected to the engine but it rotates freely when the clutch is disengaged when the clutch is disengaged in the disengaged position left uh, lay shaft will be connected to the engine because the gears are measured all the times the synchro beings the lay shaft and the right speed of the dog gear it to be meshed okay the lay shaft is now rotated at the different speed uh, to the engines now the clutch uh, now we, uh, what has happened for the clutch uh, gradually equalizes the speed and engines and the lay shaft these three will be equal uh, either being uh, the engine in the same speed okay or at the lay shaft or vice versa uh, whatever the speeds it may be depend on the engine torque and the wheel speed it will be uh, in the engage or disengage in the position as we see here clearly uh, uh, this is a uh, the engage position uh, we can see uh, uh, this portion will be sliding uh, some distance when it is uh, rotating uh, here if we see if it is rotates uh, it will move like this and this the this uh, will be moving uh, in this direction the spring loaded balls holds the collar together here it is holding the collar together uh, and uh, uh, if it move up and it will be slide in this uh, specified direction and the gear is uh, said to be in engaged position in this diagram we cannot see clearly so we can see here clearly the engagement and disengagement positions of the synchro mesh gearbox it is in the disengaged position and if the gears are said to be in engaged then it will be come here and the main shaft and the primary shaft in contact with each other okay next uh, next we are going for transaxial gearbox transaxial gearbox uh, in transaxial gearbox uh, as we uh, uh, see here clearly uh, it is having two shafts uh, it is having two shafts used in the vehicles with the engines drive on the same side that is the front engine front uh, front engine front wheel drive rear engine drive front engine front wheel drive is here rear engine drive will drive will be here most commonly used the uh, gearbox is transaxial gearbox gearbox are different and uh, differential in the same housing uh, uh, the um, the important thing is uh, in this uh, transaxial gearbox is the gearbox and the differential are in the same housing okay uh, next the, uh, this uh, and how it is working will be seen here uh, combination of transmission and the differential in one unit is called transaxial as a, as i said earlier transaxials are both automatic and manual we can use automatic and manual both we can use in the transaxial system uh, this is the synchro this is the pinion gear this is rag and pinion gear as we know that this is the pinion gear and this is the these are the helical gears and this is the differential which is used to uh, provide and this is the ring gear what was the advantage for transaxial gear system is reduced driving prime prime weights uh, it uh, weight will be uh, reduced and improved trans uh, traction traction force also increase smoother ride will be produced a very smooth ride will be produced increase yeah yeah and these are and these are having so many advantages quicker operation quicker operation increased passenger compartment and spaces everything uh, these are the advantages over here and this is the uh, real uh, really 
uh, real image of the transactional gear box this is the fifth gear and uh, this is the fifth gear fourth gear third gear he is here second gear is here reverse gear is here and the first gear is here and they are meshing with each other we can see here and one thing if you observe here clearly is we are using helical gears here okay this is cone gear also helical gear first gear is also helical gears and second third fourth every gear is helical gear and this is the output shaft and this is the input shaft for the transactional gearbox now we are going to uh, discuss about sequential gearbox sequential gearbox means manual transmissions are used the standard h pattern in the shifter we are we are using h pattern in this shifter the main the manual transmission in the manual transmission in the motorcycle is different in motorcycles gears are shifted by clicking a level up and down with the toy here and his uh, by clicking we can change the gears it is much faster way to shift uh, uh, by clicking it is operating with it is very uh, faster way to shift the step of transmissions is called sequential gearbox and sequential manual transmission the only difference in the is the way uh, means uh, it can uh, the way uh, it can the control rods are manipulated here the control mat uh, rods are manipulated which uh, h patterns uh, is eliminated and replaced with different motions full pull systems means impossible to select the wrong gear, uh, wrong uh, it is impossible to select the wrong gears uh, race cars are uses this sequential gearbox uh, race car, in race cars only we are using this uh, types of sequential gearbox uh, as we see clearly here uh, uh, these are the this is the type of uh, Uh, sequential uh, gear uh, gear arrangements in sequential gear arrangements unlike traditional and manual transmission sequential gears uh, have a sequential order of gear arrangement there are there you can see here very sequential uh, way of gear, gear arrangement is there here one gear and here these both gears and here two gears like this a sequential order will be maintained here gears are shifted in sequential manner often by moving gear level forward and backward no h patterns is here sequential gear uh, as we discussed earlier and fast and pressure shifting uh, as we uh, as we discussed that uh, it is very fast and pressure shifting within the within the time lapse it will be shifted and uh, pedal shifters uh, is used in many many modern cars with uh, uh, sequential ge gears uh, 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 gear boxes use pedal shifters mounted on the steering wheel on the steering wheel there is a pedal system uh, by this we can control pedal shifter allows the driver to change gears without taking their hands off the steering wheels without removing our hands we can shift that uh, shift that mm, uh, clutch uh, we uh, uh, as we also using clutchless shifting and many more advantages uh, rally and motor sporting applications it is used straight to cut to gears is also used limited uh, slip differential uh, compatibility also we are using Uh, and customizable ratios uh, uh, that means uh, in some cases drivers can uh, customize gear ratios to uh, to suit specific driving conditions in the race tracks this allows for fine tubing the gearbox in optimum performance and maintenance and cost are also worthwhile this is the sequential gearbox arrangement mm, thank you